Hey lovers and friends! Today's video is going to be about my everyday winter look. It's pretty quick, it's fun, and I hope you guys will enjoy it. Keep watching! Alright, so I already put my concealer on, that's why I look kind of scary, and I filled in my eyebrows. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my foundation on, and I wanted to make sure I show you guys what I do because I kind of switched it up. What I like to do is, I know some people buy like really high-end foundations that can be really expensive and you don't want to go out there and do the method that I'm doing so that's fine do what you're doing stick to it if you're really comfortable to it but for me I felt like to get the more natural looking foundation coverage on my face I thought that I would do it in this way so what I do is I use the NYX and I use um, natural in HD it's gonna take a little bit of it in my hand well not a little but quite a bit like that much if you can see it there you go and I kind of put it on like lotion to be honest I just feel like you get a better coverage on your face so that way you don't miss under your chin you don't get that nasty line you know you see them girls some of them don't know how to do it right you gotta spread the word all right so I'm doing my eyes and then sometimes I'll take my fingers you'll see and I'll make sure I get some individual parts I don't really like to do my forehead a lot because my forehead's already darker for some reason so like for my upper lip right now I'm just gonna take a little bit of my fingers and just cover that because my nose tends to get red a lot and under my eyes this is where I have nasty little dark circles so, I'm just getting a little bit, making sure I have coverage. After you do that, I'm going to take my, most of my stuff comes from the Ipsy bag that they used to have glam bags be called. So, if you have them and you are subscribed to them and you get them every month, it'll be really helpful. If not, you can always buy anything that's like this anywhere. So, it's not like you're stuck and you can't do anything. So, I'm going to use um, eyebrow gel just to... Make sure my eyebrows stay nice and pretty. After that, what I'm going to do is, I've used this plenty of times, this technique, and I've said I don't really advocate you doing this if you don't feel comfortable, but I use um, the concealer that comes with, it's like a concealer pencil that comes with my actual concealer. I use this as eyeliner, but you can also go to Stila, and they have a color called Topaz, and it's kind of around the same color as this, but it's not the exact color, but it's close enough where it looks nice and it vibrates your eyes so what I like to do is I like to line this in my waterline on the inside and I like to do I like a lot so you'll see me kind of going back and forth just to make sure it's on my eye I like to do my eyeshadow and what I've been using and you've seen in play in my videos is the same palette like little I make up Maybelline Studio palette which I love and I hardly wear eyeshadow so this is why I still have it so don't laugh at me you can use your fingers or you can use a brush um, I bought this pack at Nordstrom Rack cheap and it's efficient and it's not bad I think it's good so I'm just gonna take some of my very the lightest color the nude color right here just get some of my brush and I'm gonna apply it all over my lid And I'm going to do the same with the next eye. And sometimes when you get it over, what I like to do is um, I like to take a Q-tip or I use my fingers just to... I use my fingers for a lot of things. Gotta get to your fingers! Why not use them? That's what I always say. <laughs> I'm going to use a brown pencil and eyeliner and I got this from my Ipsy bag but I also have, sorry I'm turning, but I also have one from Alme so you don't have to be stuck to just whatever you got in your Ipsy bag. You can also use any brown that you have to substitute but I like this one for right now. I'm feeling it. So what I like to do is I like to go to the bottom and I just like to kind of 
create a very natural line under and I like to smudge it because I just really really right now for winter I'm loving this just natural awakening look so I'm gonna smear smudge whatever you want to call it under your eyes and that's the bottom now, like I said, this is really quick. It's like fast. You don't need to do much to your eyes. I'm going to wait to do the mascara later because I want you guys to see how different I do it and how weird, I guess. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do contouring your cheekbone with blush. What I like to use is my same broken uh, Milani bronzer. And I'm just going to use that. Take some. And I like fishy base time. So I like to contour it with this kind of brush, which I actually got from Ulta, and it came in a pack, and I think they're from the brand, I don't know what they're from, oh, oh, it says right here, they're from Eco Tools. So I got them from the brand Eco Tools, and I like this one because it kind of has like a point, and I like to get that right into the crease of my cheekbone, so you'll see. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take my neck bronzer and I'm just going to kind of brush it out a little bit. So I'm just going to fluff it up on my brush and I'm just going to contour this right here on my nose, on top of my eyebrows, basically your whole T-zone and under your chin. The biggest trick is, is when people ask you, you look really dark, I've had that, like, oh my god, you look really tan today. It's probably because you've either put too much right here like all down here you put like way too much so that it looks like you're really tan I did that yesterday so I would know <laughs> next thing that I like to use that I got from my Ipsy bag is this my, Mew May I don't know what the, how to say this but I love this this is so cool I definitely am gonna buy some more but it's highlighting paper which is so cool because I never heard of this before so yeah you can only understand my um, excitement so I've already kind of ripped a couple out like I've used two and I'm I kind of like to reuse, I don't think there's a need to keep ripping new ones out. So this is how it looks. And what I'm going to do is, it's really, really tan for me. So I'm just going to do a little bit, like right here, right here. I'm probably, see, you can see that already, like, and probably just under my chin. I'm not even going to go near my nose, because we're just going to contour it. So just my T-zone right here, and that's it. So that's what you do with these little cool highlighting papers. After this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to contour my nose. And I like to take um, a matte brown, as I always say, take a matte brown. And I like to take an angled brush. So I use this angled brush. Let me see if you can see that. Yeah, right over here. That I got with my little kit of colors. And I didn't take this out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my landing comb. I got this a long time ago. It's a little gift. So it's the matte brown all the way over here. This one right here. Uh, I'm just going to take a little bit on my brush. Not too much that I load it up. And I'm just going to literally just go straight down my nose. And I am going to contour it as much as I can, like, brush it out. You have to use your fingers. You'll see me use my fingers soon. Like I said, fingers are the bomb. They are the coolest thing that God gave us. Seriously. So, I like to put a lot on for some reason. I have no idea why. It could be because I'm a weirdo. But I just love my nose being contoured. It is my favorite. I think it, like, really brings out a lot on your face like when your nose is contoured so I think that's pretty good I don't want to overload it and make myself look scary like a monster but you want to make sure you go all the way down the sides of your nose not just there like I said make sure you contour so there's my nose contoured I like to take my color stay by I think this is by Maybelline oh no Revlon Revlon so Revlon and I've used it so long, I'm sure you guys have seen it. And I use this little really skinny, skinny, like edged, I don't know what this is called, but it's like really, really perfect um, brush. And I like to load it up with this. And I like to put this on my nose. So you will see instantly like shimmer and shine and highlight after I contoured it. So there you go, see? Bam! Um, I like to add some right here above my lips. And sometimes I'll go over here, but right now I just think that's enough. 
so I'm not gonna do that. So I'm gonna use is my mascara, and this I got from the Ipsy bag, and it's called the it's from the Bomb, and it's like what's your type, and it's called Black Mascara. So I love this, um, and I have all different types of mascara, so it doesn't matter what you use. I just really like the brush on this one. It is um, amazing. It's like nicely separated. So I'm what I do, which you should really pay attention to, is, is that I don't do the whole eyelash. I only do the sides of it and I don't even bother curling it or anything like that just to keep it so natural and simple. So I'm just literally just going to do the sides of my, like this side of my eye and that's it. I'm not going to do the whole complete eye. So you see that? Yes. Yes. That's all. And I'm going to do this side. Move my hair. So. The whole main purpose of just doing it this way, I feel like, is a little bit, it's just to keep it so natural. I mean, you can add lashes if you want, you can do whatever you want. If you want to really deck it out, go ahead. But I like to keep it simple, because the winter is freezing, like, why? At the end, if you really want to do this, this is an option. I'm not going to do it for my look today, but you can just take some of your light color, your eyeshadow color, and you can actually just put it in the middle of your tear ducts and it'll kind of give you that pop fresh look for me today I don't think so, so but the last and final step is your lips and you can do so many things with your lips with this look because it's so natural you can do anything here are some of the options I would say you can do a nude so with my outfit I'm gonna do a nude color or you can do red you can do a nice red um, you can do this really nice pink from MAC called Speed Dial. Love, love it. So you can do a pink look. Um, and like I said, right now, I'm just going to do like a really nude look. I don't even know if I want to put any color on. So I'm debating what it should be. But I think I'll just do a matte. Why not? Why not just do a matte nude? So I'm using this. This is from, I believe, uh, Wet n Wild. It's Wet n Wild. Kind of looks like a NYX, right? In a weird way it does, but it's wet and wild, and it's called, well, there's no call, it's number, 900 BP. So I'm just going to apply this all over my lip. There again, I use my fingers, because I like using my fingers. And now I look darker because that's automatically what happens. And now I'm going to take some lip gloss that this I got from Nordstrom Rack a long time ago. With I don't even think they carry this product like line anymore. So so there is my kind of fresh look. Probably look ten times tanner right now than what I did before. <laughs> Which is cool, because um, it gives you like this fresh, simple but classy look for the winter. And it doesn't take too long, it's really fast. And I hope you guys enjoyed it and you wear it out um, on a daily basis, because it's so easy, so simple, like I said. And I think you guys look beautiful in it. It kind of lets everybody see the true colors of you with just a little help of makeup. Not crazy a lot. So take care, have fun, happy holidays. So before I leave, I added... Um, a little accessories. I added a bow tie that I got from Aldo. I work there, so I thought I'd pick up one of the men's bow ties, and I think any girl can pull it off. If you just have the right outfit put together, you can pull it off. Don't be afraid. Um, I've curled my hair with a wand. If you guys want me to do a tutorial on it, please let me know. I will. And so before I leave, I have some shout-outs that I want to give out to my family. And so one is Noah. Uh, one is Sumaya, Amarlene, Smorthy, Julia, Hasina, Lynn, and I think that's about it. Um, if you want to shout out, just um, inbox me on Twitter or my Facebook, and I will definitely shout out. I talk to you guys. I try to message you guys all back, you know, with any uh, questions you guys may have or opinions. So, you know, feel free to talk to me. I definitely try to always get back to you and carry conversation, give you advice, and I love it when you guys do that. So please, I advocate that you message me and talk to me, and just, if you show me your support, I will show you my support. Bye, take care.